stuff today to coaches and scouts in the NFL. And all eyes seem to be on Missouri defensive end Michael Sam, who announced earlier this month that he's gay. There's been a lot of buzz since that announcement about what impact that might have on him in the NFL, potential draft, all of that. I'm joined now by former NFL players uh, Chris Draft from Los Angeles joining us there. And then, oh, from very far away, and then Randy Cross right here. Uh, good to see both of you, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, so a lot of pressure on um, Michael Sam. I mean, already the combine, this whole week-long process of getting to know uh, the NFL, the teams, them getting to know you. He's got a lot more pressure on him, it seems. So not only are they, Randy, sizing him up physically, can mm -hmm. you play the game, but mentally and to a whole different level for him. Explain that. Well, if you look at this, though, from a PR standpoint, uh -huh. um, the way he came out, the masterful job I think his people did, uh -huh. really sculpting who he is and how he wants to be perceived, he did this all on his terms. Okay. It wasn't the innuendo from yeah. the senior bowl and the, and the crazy true. questions in the combine rooms. Mm -hmm. He got out there. He said it. They mastered it. They got together, you know, both the it's ESPN and, and the New York Times. I think it was an unbelievable job. One of the people should study how you sort of define something huh. like this by the way they handled it. So then I wonder, Chris, does this give him an advantage? Does he, you know, is he in, you know, the driver's seat, so to speak, or does it put him at a disadvantage as it pertains to the scrutiny that a player is already going to be receiving? I think he's at an advantage in, in that he, he got out in front of it, uh, but he's, he's still at a disadvantage because you have general managers right now, they're asking themselves the question, will he be a distraction? And so you have the NFL combine, he's going to go out, he's going to play, and he should really confirm what everybody already knows is he's a physical specimen and he had a great, great season and he's a guy that, that, that can be a difference maker. Uh, the key right now is with the interviews. The interviews are going to be the most important thing here at the combine. Is what they're going to try to assess. Him? What are the questions that are asked? Well, they're, they're going to try to be slick in how they ask the questions, and they're going to do a lot of investigation that's outside of it. But the, the key is, do you want to be an advocate or do you want to be a football player? Are you a guy that's a hard hat, uh, lunch pill type of guy, which is really code for I am all about football, or are you a guy that wants to then be an advocate, which then could potentially be a distraction for the team? So, Randy, you're nodding. Yeah, 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 that's about it. Is there more? Yeah, you know, I don't, you know, I think there's a lot to this, mm -hmm. but it's football. Football's a results business mm -hmm. for all the attention. Tim right. Tebow, people, people, bring up, people bring up the Tebow thing. He was a distraction. Well, he was a distraction mm -hmm. right up until people figured out, hey, this guy can't play quarterback in the NFL. Then he wasn't even on a team anymore. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. He's the greatest, in my mind, the greatest quarterback or the greatest football player in college we've seen in the last 20 years. You're talking about Michael Sam. No, I'm talking Ooh, about oh, Tim Tebow, was, okay. but he couldn't play in the pros. Uh -huh. That was a distraction. Uh -huh. I don't think Michael Sam is a distraction once he gets into an NFL locker room. You think he'll be able to deliver? Uh, that's the that's bottom line. Mm -hmm. If he can play, if he can rush the passer like Dwight Freeney, yeah. also 6'1", about 260, no one will care. Right. About his sexual and preference. he's something like six five or something. And did I hear someone say that they didn't? They were, they were not sure if he's, no, he's big enough. He's six one two sixty, and he's going to be an edge rusher yeah. or outside linebacker. Okay. They thought he was six three. Uh -huh. In college, he was listed at 6'3", 255. Interesting. At the Senior Bowl, he was measured at you know two inches shorter. Golly, this scrutiny. Okay, let's talk about. Some